Hey guys, this is Monica with The Romeo Plans and today I'm back here to share with you what I picked up during the Moxie Life Imperfect sale. So if you didn't know, Moxie Life is a company and they sell a planner that has a goal setting system built into it. They're three years old, so it was still a very new company and this year they came out with so many different options for planners. <laughs> they always have an imperfect sale and in this imperfect sale it is planners that have little imperfections. This could be nicks in the cover, just little imperfections where they're not up to the quality of selling them at full price. So what they do is they have an imperfect sell and things are 40% off. And I want to show you what I got because I was so excited um, when they announced the sale because I was already thinking about getting, um, getting a new planner from them and the fact that it was 40% off is just all the better. So this is the box that they came in. Um, the box is a little bit beat up from shipping, but the way they ship stuff, it did not hurt the planners at all. I'm gonna go ahead and put it off to the side. So with every order, you get this card and this is Sierra, their founder. She is amazing. She is a life coach and planner girl herself. And this, the system that Moxie Life uses is the system that she actually has been using with clients for years. It just says, join our online community for tips, tools, and resources. They have a Facebook group that's free to join and there's a lot of good support. Um, their Facebook group is an awesome place. People talk about goals, they talk about planning in there. Um, they also have an Instagram and a YouTube. So what I got is I actually got two of these planners and I got the A5 Daily Undated Planners. Now, I actually wanted the teal ones and the teal ones went so fast. I don't know how many they had um, because they may have just had less of the imperfect ones, but the teal ones went so fast. I checked out at 1.08, they started the sale to the public at one o'clock and the teal was sold out. So I ended up getting this like gray taupe color and blush. And then it also came with this vinyl sticker with the heart that says grateful as well. They do sell packs of their vinyl stickers online. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. So it comes in the bubble wrap and then it also has the plastic. Now when they launched, I did not pick up a A5 daily because I was going to use a ring planer. And the ring planner just didn't work for me. I need a coil and I just need a coil. So I wa wanted to go ahead and try this out. It's got this linen cover. Um, you know, at first glance, you can't really see the imperfections, but there is like a little like nick right here, which is probably what put it in the imperfections. But the cover other than that little spot, it's perfect. It's got a nice metal coil. I mean, this thing is super sturdy. It does come with the strap. And this is the blush color. And then I'm gonna show you the taupe color and then we'll walk through the taupe one. So they call this taupe on their website. It's really kind of like a dark gray, um, which I kind of love and Honestly, the only thing that I see that could be wrong made and, and, and perfect is like little tiny nicks in the linen cover, but nothing like super noticeable. Like I really had to look to see that. And then it has the strap as well. And then it's just embossed Moxie Life. So these are quarterly daily planners. And I like this because I'm going to start it in April and it's going to be, I actually got this idea from my friend Amy and Plan with Stormy about using these as like a quarterly refresh with my goals. I use the power sheets to kind of plan out my goals. I do have my goals in my Moxie Life flagship that I'm using for like journal and memory keeping. Um, I need to catch up on that, but this is awesome because it'll just allow me to have that quarterly refresh with my goals. So when you open it, the inside cover has like the gray stripe. It has the title page. And this is very much the same as 
their regular Moxie Life yearly planners. They have a, the, their flagship is a yearly planner. It's dated. And if you're interested in that, it is dated for 2022. So they are on sale, the ones they have left. And they have six month undated seven by nine. They also have inserts you can get so you can punch them for discs or ring, rings. So um, I'll have a link down to their website below. It's just an amazing company and just a lot of high quality products. Then you have a letter from Sierra. It talks about why moxie. Moxie means energy, pep, courage, determination, know-how. And so, and then it starts talking about their goal setting process. It says the key to a more satisfying life is creating, creating a consistent habit of designing how you spend your time and filling it with what matters most to you. And the best support you to best support you in this, your life systems need to be accessible, simple, actionable, and repeatable. It also talks about their weekly and daily features. They have the weekly notes pages, a weekly overview, daily pages, and when to move to the next month. So with their goal setting system, you have the compass assessment, you set your intentions, you have your goals and your vision, you have your monthly goals and weekly actions, your monthly reflections and quarterly review. So with, this is with, this is their compass assessment. So they have eight areas of life that you can set goals in. You do not have to set goals in all eight of these areas. I do not have goals in fun and recreation. And a lot of that is what I would put in fun and recreation can also be put in personal. So I just kind of bump them. Um, I just kind of combine those to personal goals because I have overarching goals this year. So my overarching goal is to do things that bring me joy. And so that's in my personal category when I put them in my moxie life. But you want to establish a starting point. You want to evaluate your, your life as a whole. You want to embrace growth. So this is the compass assessment. There's so many ways you can fill this in. Um, the assessment will go through in a minute, <laughs> but there's so many ways you can fill this in. People um, use like markers, they use mild liners. Um, some people mark where they are and where they want to be at the end of the year or quarter. And then this is the assessment. So you have questions in each of the eight categories and you score them from one to 10 of how you feel within with each of those questions. And then you take the average of those scores and that is your score for the category. And then you set your intention. What could I use more of in my life? What could I use less of in my life? What characteristics do I want to nurture? Three habits you want to develop. This year you will be more. I will do less. I will give myself grace for. I will let go of. I will embrace. And then you can put your word of the year. And then it talks about setting goals. And I love this because when you go through the beginning of this, it's seriously like Sierra is just sitting there with you talking you through how to do the system. The main objectives of this goal setting process are growth and learning. And so it talks about committing to the goals, reviewing your goals and removing goals. Cause sometimes goals need to be removed. So then it talks about writing goals, three type of goals, stretch goals, progress goals, and maintenance goals. And then it talks about your annual goals, your monthly goals, and your weekly actions. The weekly actions are where this goal setting system differs a lot from a lot of other ones because it has you set your actions weekly. It has you reflect on your actions weekly so you can change um, what you are doing on a weekly basis. And then it, the weekly reflection questions is what were your wins? What worked? What didn't work? What lessons did you learn? And what adjustments do you need to make moving forward? And then it has different categories. And I love this page because um, it give, can give you ideas of what you can put in these categories. So their categories are personal, fun and recreation, work and learning, family and relationships, health and wellness, spiritual and personal growth, financial and physical environment. And then you have this if you want to make a mind map of your goals. So then you have your annual goal section where you can put, and there's a lot of space here. 
So what I do currently in my flagship, and I will probably move this to this planner or I may not, is my goals in my power sheets are overarching goals. And then I can really break this down and I have the space to really break it down of what, so my personal goal is do things that bring me joy. So in my moxie life, I'm like, okay, well, what does that mean? What are things that bring me joy? Reading brings me joy. So what's my reading goals? Um, memory keeping, you know, reflecting on my memories, that goes here. Journaling, that goes here. The things that are bringing me joy, um, I can break that down. And so I can say my work and learning goal is to grow my remote plans business. Well, I can actually have the space to break that down of what that means and what are those action steps. So it's not just grow the business, it's how are you gonna grow the business? So I love that you get so much space here. Um, also with each goal, you have a focus and then how will your life be, how will your life improve by reaching this goal? And then you have a spot for a vision board. If you want to do a vision board, you have some goal setting quick tips. And then you have go into the monthly. Now this is an undated planner. So the three monthly tabs, they are blank. You do get stickers and these are white stickers that you can put on the monthly tabs. So the first month it says just begin. You have the monthly view. Then you have your monthly goals. And then this is something that you get every week. So you get this dot grid page. It does have the reflection questions at the top if you wanna use it for reflections. You technically don't have to use it for reflections. You could use it for anything that you want to. And then it has your weekly actions. And this year they did put the names of the categories. So then you can put down what you're gonna do for each of these categories to make progress on your goals. Now we get into the actual planning part of it. So this planner is a daily planner, but it actually comes with a weekly overview. So you have up here, it says week of, it says focus. So if you can have a focus for the week, then it has Monday, a spot where you can put the date. And then it has just this space from Monday through Sunday where you can put down anything. Um, I am thinking about using this part kind of like as a wellness planner and putting my wellness stuff here. So then on the daily side of it, you have date, focus for the day. You have these three bullet points. You can use that for your top three priorities, your top three habits, whatever you wanna use it for. You have a big to-do list and then you have this section and you can kind of see it has the dots on there where you can put your schedule in there. It has a dot grid section here and then it has three boxes and you can use this for, I've seen people use this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I've seen them use it for their top three habits. I've seen people use it for all kinds of things. So then you get seven of those. And then you go back into your weekly reflection, your weekly actions, your weekly overview, and then your seven daily pages. So that is two weeks. That's three, four, and that's five weeks. So you get five weeks of those and then you go into your monthly reflections and it says reminder be sure to check your quarterly assessment at the end of each quarter you can find your assessment under the assessment tab so it asks you what were your biggest wins for the month things that are currently working things that are currently not working what i learned what improvements or adjustments do i need to make and what am i most grateful for habits i want to nurture next month area i want to focus on next month and then you can rate your overall month so that is what you get in the monthly section. So the second month, it says trust yourself more. It's the same thing. It ends with the monthly reflections. And this one says no one benefits when you play small. And then this is the same thing in the monthly reflections. 
So in this planner, you have an assessment tab and it says progress and not perfection. So you have the quarterly assessment and you can put your current numbers and put your previous numbers from the beginning. And then you can say overall my end scores increase, decrease, stay the same. What personal actions contributed the most to these results? Three words to just three words to describe how I generally felt over the last 90 days. Where is my biggest opportunity for growth and what area of life will be my main focus for the next 90 days? And then it has a dot grid page. So then you have an extras page. So now, because this is a quarterly daily, you, this they give you a spot for future plans. So if you're using this planner for, if I'm using this for April, May, and June, and something comes up in July, I have an event in July, I can go ahead and put this July, August, September, October, November, December, and put stuff that may come up that I wanna make sure that I put in the next daily. So you actually have nine, of those and then you have dot grid pages so you get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen dot grid pages which is a crazy amount crazy good amount of dot grid pages for a quarterly daily so you have those 16 pages and then you have this, um, and then you have this folder and then you have some stickers. They do have a sticker book on their website, but you have these stickers as well. And then you have this folder that is attached to the back cover and it just closes up like that. And then you can put the band on it to help keep it closed. And that is, the quarterly daily from Moxie Life, and they are the exact same. So you can see it's the exact same. It has the just begin, trust yourself more. No one benefits when you start small. So the ex the guts are the exact same. So on their website, they have these two colors. They also have like a red salmon color, and they have the teal. Um, I just didn't get the teal because they didn't have any more imperfect ones. I wanted to go ahead and start with two quarters to see how I liked it. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put this in here in this folder so I don't forget that I have it. So the stickers for the month are, they just stick them inside that folder. All right. So that was what I picked up from the Imperfect Cell. Let me know down below if you've used the Moxie Life Daily or if you use another daily planner. I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead, hit that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any more of my videos. I hope you have a great day. Mm -hmm.